The website for the president's new health care law has been live for a week now, and millions of people signing up for the plans are still running into problems. Now, technicians took the website down last night. They've actually been called in several times to fix some glitches since the debut of healthcare.gov. But experts say there's still plenty of time since insurance coverage does not start until January 1st. But that's a date some Charlotte companies are now dreading. Today I spoke to business owners who say the new health care law will force them to cut staff or reduce hours and learned how some businesses are already trying to get around it. Bradshaw Social House has 56 workers. Automatically, that puts us under the guns. Owner Jim Sprouls knows under the Affordable Care Act, he'll be forced to give any person who works more than 30 hours insurance. But he says his premiums already jumped 23% this year, and he can't afford covering every employee. And that leaves restaurants like his with a simple choice. They can go completely part-time uh, employees and not have to pay the penalties, or they can pass it along to the consumer. It's just a, a, a cataclysmic shift in the way that we've been offering health care. Kathy Graham with the Employers Association says some small businesses are already looking for ways around this, like two local restaurants that are now sharing employees. So instead of getting 40 hours and requiring insurance, they work 20 hours at each business. In effect, two part-time jobs. She also talked about two major Charlotte companies with thousands of workers who told her they're now cutting back on hours, taking money directly from workers' pockets. Another option, dropping insurance and giving workers a stipend to join the new health care exchange. The thing is, is that becomes taxable income to the employee and it becomes taxable payroll dollars to the employers. Supporters of the act say it's the price a nation must pay to provide affordable health care for our sickest and poorest citizens. But Sprowls wonders who will end up with the final price tag. Well, there is no such thing as affordable health care. Somebody's going to have to pay. Now, supporters of the Affordable Care Act say it does improve access to health coverage and protects you from ab abusive insurance company practices and rate increases. And the White House says it will actually lower health insurance costs for small businesses by up to 4%.